So uh, we, we have here simple present short answers, okay? Short answers with do and does, okay? When do we use do? Okay, so the idea is we complete these conversations with do and the right form of the verb, okay? But first, I want to share with you a presentation about how to use do and does for present simple. Remember that we use do for the first person, the second person, and the for the people of the plural, okay? Which is we, you, they. Okay. So in this presentation, we're going to learn how to use do and does and when to use it. Remember that this is only for present simple. We use do or does for present simple. Just for example, I do, okay, so I do, the first person, I do. you do okay this is the second person you do this is we do with a group of people we do this is they do they do okay You do, okay, but this is plural. This is for plural. You do. And this is the third person. He does. He does. This is the third person. She does. Third person. She does. This is third person, it does, it does. So only for he, she, and it, we use does. The rest of the people go with do. Now, how can we make yes, no questions? A yes, no question, it's made by an auxiliary the subject, the verb, and the complement. So, do you brush your teeth every day? So, this is a yes, no question. Do you brush your teeth every day? So, in this case, do here is not a verb, but an auxiliary. It's a helper, okay? So, the, the important verb here is do is brush sorry it's brush okay so the important the, the main verb here is brush do is just an auxiliary okay so do you brush your teeth every day do you brush your teeth every day the answer can be yes or no yes I do or no I don't okay question answer yes I do yes I do is a short answer or you can also say a long answer yes I brush my teeth every day I brush brush my teeth every day so that's a short answer and long answer now negative no I don't I don't brush my teeth every day now this is a short answer and a long answer no I don't brush my teeth every day so don't here here's a contraction for do not okay contraction for 
do not is don't. Now let's go with the question for third person. Does she clean her teeth every day? Does she? Does the woman in the picture clean her teeth every day? Now here we're using different verb. We're using clean. We can say clean as well. Now let's see the answers. Yes, she does. Okay. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. Okay, because remember, when we have third person, so we need to use ES at the end of the verb. Does she clean her teeth every day? Yes, she does. Now let's go with the negative. Oh, no, no, not the negative, but the long answer. Now this is long answer. Okay, be back soon. Don't take too long. Okay. Yes, she cleans her teeth every day. Every day. She cleans. The woman in the picture cleans, washes, or brushes her teeth every day. Now, notice here that we have an S. Okay? Because remember that when we have third person we have a verb and we add for most of the verbs we add an s for most of them okay in third person yes she cleans her teeth every day now let's see another example okay here's the other option now we have brush Brush, remember we said that when a verb ends in SH, then we add ES at the end for third person, for he, she, or it. Now we have here brush, so we have to apply the rule. We add ES. Let's see more examples. Oh, the dentist. It's terrible. But we have to go. Okay. Let me put this somewhere else. Okay, so what is this guy doing? He's checking on her mouth. Let's see what's next. Okay, ah, oh, this is the negative answer to the former picture no she doesn't okay no she doesn't we have here negative so for third person we say doesn't okay which means does not doesn't means does not let's see another example now this this is a long answer no she doesn't clean her feet every day she doesn't clean her feet every day okay so that's a long answer short answer long answer again we have here doesn't because we have third person next picture next example no she doesn't brush she doesn't brush her teeth brush her teeth every day okay another verb that's another verb now we have wh questions wh questions are questions made with wh words that are made for question for a specific information so if you remember from the last from previous classes we have who for a person a character when we say who we're asking for a person who an alien 
a superhero, a police officer, who, that's, that's one, what, we use this for things or actions, what, we, when we ask for things or actions, okay, where, we, when we ask for a place, we ask for places, where, when, we ask for time, okay, time, I don't have a watch, but anyway, why, we're asking for a purpose or for a reason, how, by what means, in what way, okay, so these are WH words for WH questions, let me see if we have some examples, okay, now, when does she clean her teeth, and, and then we have here an auxiliar, okay, we have the auxiliar, we have ES, and we have third person. So when does she clean her teeth? When does she clean her teeth? Let's see what is the answer. This is asking for time, a time. This is the formula or this is the structure, WH word, do or does, plus pronoun, plus verb, plus complement, okay, we have it here, do, w, wh, word, do or does, depending on the pronoun, plus pronoun, plus verb, plus complement, that is the secret formula, well, it's not secret, but, okay, let's practice, Let's see what happens. Okay, I will send you these links to the what's to the classroom, the Google Classroom, so you can do extra exercises and practice at home. So for now, this presentation is the end. Oh, it says, do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. That's a short answer. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do, because we're talking about plural. No, they don't. Now, third person. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't, because he's third person. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. Okay? Okay. Now we're going to uh, take a look on this... Um, uh, the things in the house, okay? Furniture. The furniture are the things that we have in the house, like armchairs, bed, tables, coffee tables, okay? So we have here some words to practice. We have armchairs, okay? Some, some th those type of sofas, armchairs. We have stove. We have stove where we cook curtains that we put in the windows, curtains. We have pictures that we put in the wall, pictures. We have bed, we have bed. We have a, a table, okay, dining table. We have coffee table, like, like it's a short, a little table. Microwave oven refrigerator, lamps, sofa, desk, bookcase, dresser, chairs, mirror, rock, TB, cupboards. Okay guys, uh, remember you can subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel and there you can see all the PowerPoint presentations and all the presentations that I work with my students you can find them in on my YouTube channel I will leave the description in the descriptions I will leave all that information for you so remember to subscribe and follow this page bye bye see you later